and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not getting the results you are looking for from your digital marketing efforts, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Frank Deming, the local business guy, and welcome to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. Happy hump day, happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a rockin' rockin' week thus far. Today, I want to talk to you about some digital marketing trends that uh, I want you to get ahead of on 2022. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're already in our third month, um, and and you know we're. I, I, don't, I want you guys to really pay attention to certain things that are happening in the industry so you're ahead of the game always. That is the whole premise of this podcast, folks, for you to be ahead of the trends so you can start really getting an impact on what's going on in the digital marketing world. So for for all of you, you know, loyal listeners, I want you to really pay attention to to this. I want you guys to full to to share this episode with people that you know that could probably benefit from this, who are in business themselves and who are pro, you know, who probably need to know this, uh, quite frankly. So, um before I get into the content, I wanted to remind you that you if you're in if you are a local business anywhere here into your continental U.S., um, I want you to head on over to my website, lbmsllc.com, and in the landing page, you in the home page, you will see a green button on one of the sliders that says, get your online presence report. I want you guys to get your free online presence report. That is a very important practice that, that, that you start, you need to start doing today. Uh, because yeah, online presence is everything. So how are you showing up online? If you're having a difficult time getting traction online, let's say you're trying to do it yourself and you, you're not getting the traction that you think you should be getting by now, it could be something wrong with the way you are appearing online, something that you don't know about. You can't fix what you can't see. And that's what that report is going to help you with. It's going to help you fix it. So rather you're going to fix it by yourself once you know what it is, or you hire someone to fix it, at least you have the report in your wheelhouse to know what to fix in the first place. All right. So head on over there right now and uh, grab your online presence report. So I also put a link to it on uh, the show notes. All right. So Let's go on with these digital marketing trends. There are actually nine that I want to, there are a few, uh, but there are actually is nine that are very, very powerful that um, I think you need to start talking, I need to start doing like right away. The number one trend that's happening and is making headways and um, is really making uh, people uh, a lot of money, quite frankly, in this industry is short DIY videos. So basically, this whole TikTok thing just took off and it kind of shifted the landscape of a lot of the social media platforms. So if you've noticed, um, you know, because TikTok has these short form videos, has some do it yourself stuff and all that. You know, I think the, the most you can do with video uh, with TikTok is three minutes. Now, it used to be just 60 seconds, if you believe it or not. Now they're going up to three minutes, but it's still short form videos. And it's such a powerful thing, and it did so well that it kind of um, uh, caused Instagram to jump to jump on the bandwagon with its reels now. Um, and um, and actually, YouTube is doing these things where it's called uh, Shorts. I don't know if you guys heard about. It. I know you guys probably seen the Instagram Reels because that's been very popular. But YouTube is now in the whole thing. It's called Shorts. So. You know, it's a really big trend now. It's making people is is creating more of a buzz, making creating awareness to your business. So I I really think you should start thinking about um, 
some some short DIY videos for your business. Um, so everything is, is it, 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 here's, here's my take on why it took off so much. Number one is I think it's because we're, we're living in a short attention span world. Um, so everything is fast paced now. Everybody doesn't have time to really read content. Everybody, you know, and, and so you, if you want to be seen, you, you gotta have some kind of reel or, or, or TikTok video or, or not, you know, YouTube short that's going to, uh, bring awareness somehow, uh, to your business. Hopefully to, not hopefully, if you, if you're doing the targeting correctly, you will bring it to the right people in your industry. Um, and then you just start um, collecting leads that way or collecting um, shares because a lot of people are sharing things. And as they share it and expand, expand your your reach. So do it. Your, do it. DIY videos is the number one trend. Number two trend is tell a real story. Now. Uh, we talked a little bit about this earlier this year and in one of our well, episodes in January with the great um, Barbara Gavidnik. Uh, and then it was a was a whole it was a whole episode dedicated to telling stories. So, start, you know, here's the point. Tories, storytelling is always a key for brand marketing, period. All right. So. When it comes to selling your product in a in a say modern landscape, uh, like today's landscape, most of the consumers are tired of just hearing about, uh, you know, how you the brand uh, believe your goods and services are better than the competition. So you know, and and Barbara broke this down in in, in beautifully. So if you don't, uh, you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a link to the sh- in the show notes to that episode, so maybe you can check that out again because she really had a really good way of doing it. Because the bottom line is that they want to know the, the your 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 potential consumer. They want to know how how have you delivered on your promises in a way that has lived up to their needs and expectations. That is the bottom line. That's what they want to know. So that's what I mean by tell a real story. That's really the trend. It's not so much storytelling, it's telling a real story. And um, anyway, so that that's a huge trend that's been happening. It started happening around December of last year, to be honest with you. Um, and, it, and I see it still growing pr- uh, uh, pretty profoundly. Number three, you want to focus on your audience. Okay, over a year of of uh, you know, like say lockdowns, right? That we had. Uh, social media users have has has grown. Uh, what's called fatigue, like uh, social media fatigue. Okay, um, and it's actually you know sometimes been you know caused depression. <laughs> Uh, because it's this whole constant thing that's showing up on your feed, um, on, on your news feeds, on, on whatever social media platform that you're using. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is this is you know this is this is becoming a problem. So s- the thing is that some have even bitten the bullet, right? And some have even deactivated their accounts. Uh, I saw a, a, a thing. Uh, not too long ago on the internet about how people are deactivating their accounts because of you know social media fatigue. So the, for those of you who have remained on the face of like say heavy stream of ads and 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 campaigns and news that you know basically flood their social feeds, um, you know it's basically what's happening. It has saturated. Um, the market, and that's pretty much an understatement at at, the, at this point. You know, I'm not saying that social marketing doesn't work anymore. If social marketing still works, but it's become a saturated thing. So we got to focus on your audience now. That's the trend now, and you know, you you just got to be kind of like mindful of of what's going on with with your audience, kind of thing. You know, you got to be mindful of it now, um, and. By by focus on the audience, what I'm just, what I'm talking about here is you gotta understand you gotta 
I always talk to you guys about doing your due diligence on your audience. What are they looking for? So do your research. Do your research. And you want to focus your strategy on engaging your existing audience and building your database with what they find engaging. So you got to deal your research, do your research based on that. So it's no longer, you know, b- bombarding your audience with with um, with content. It's really all about giving them what they're looking for and putting it in front of their face. If you're not doing that, the social game is not going to work for you anymore. And I'm afraid for that. I don't want that to happen to you. I want you guys to crush it on social. Social is very, very important in the digital marketing landscape, but you got to do it correctly. And the, that's what, you know, the number three trend, trend is focus on your audience. So make sure that you don't flood them with everything that everyone else is doing. Don't follow what the masses are doing. You know, get a consulting, you know, get in front of a, a, a consulting person. I mean, we offer consulting for you. I mean, if you're interested in that. So get in front, you know, get in front of somebody who's, who, who, who's a digital marketing expert that can actually help you. And work things out like that. So that's number three. Number four, privacy, transparency, transparency, and trust building is a huge trend now in digital marketing. Um, so it, it's it's it, you know the bottom line is that digital advertising is 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 an overload, and it's making consumers even more suspicious of the you know of the content that. Um, that they're targeting, um, that that they that they're targeted with. Let's say, you know, because everything now is trackable and all that stuff. So, this is the reason why in 2022, digital marketers should be actually preparing for tighter privacy and restrictions that will, you know, basically alter the way that that can track their users' behavior. Okay, so. Google actually announced that curtailing a third party cookies by 2023 is 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 something that's happening. So this is going to mean that the marketers and the advertisers are going to need to reevaluate their strategies. And this is where we come in. As digital marketers, this is why you want to partner up with an LBMS, a local business marketing solutions, because we can understand. I'm giving you this information because I know that in 2023, I have to up my game somehow to help my, to continue helping my customers. If I don't do that, I can lose customers, right? Um, but you have to know how to do it as well. So consult with people like an LBMS, consult with uh, you know someone that you know that's in the industry that actually understands how to be in front of your audience at all times and understand these changes and privacy changes and all this stuff that's going on so they can be ahead of the curve, okay? So this is a huge trend. This is a huge trend and it's something that that um that we are very already doing because we know it's coming in 2023. You know, we know it's going to be pretty much mandated in 2023, so we're getting ahead of the curve now. So number five is personalization. Personalization is going to play a big role in 2022, okay? It's going to play a big role here this year, okay? Rather than catch all content that casts, like, say, a huge wide net in, in the hope that it's, you know, it appeals to as many people as it can, if you create a specific advertising, uh, specific advertising that caters to your audience, that's going to generate more fruitful results, you know. And it that's always been the case, and this is how this has always been our approach, but it's becoming more and more the way to do it. Um, but you also got to remember, and this is what I tell my clients: okay, it's not just the content you need to to get right, okay? You want to make sure that your audience receives um, those like advertising uh, things in, at the right time and the right place, okay? Because that's really in crucial. That's really crucial for the engagement, okay? And then it's going to help with this whole, you know, oversaturated landscape that a lot of people are experiencing, 
Okay, so that's very, very crucial. That's very, very important that, that you know that you have to have the tools to understand it. So personalization is another trend for 2022. Um, number six is you want to uh, um, a content segmentation. Okay, Se segmentation, excuse me. So that, that's been huge. I've talked about this, you know, pretty much ad nauseum many times with, uh, with, 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 with my customers. But here's the bottom line. Segmentation has been around for a while, really. And, and most will use them for like segmenting, say, customers, which means to target customers with similar demographics and, 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 and shared interests. And it's common. It's, it's pretty much a common practice to have segmentation for forms and, and, and communications like, like, e, like, like newsletters, e-newsletters, news and updates, offers and promotions. Right. But here's the thing. Moving forward. Uh, I mean, moving beyond the, you know, the standard opt in or, 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 you know, outstanding opt in or opt out marketing strategies. A lot of local brands should be thinking to, so maybe more detailed and maybe cons consider it, consider actually tagging of the email content that allows a user to actually opt out of the of receiving certain kinds of content. Um, and, but even if they opt out of receiving certain kinds of content, they probably didn't opt out of your whole list. But they, they you know, they're probably interested in different types of content, you know, so you want to give them that option. That's a very important thing because that way they're receiving things that they want to receive consistently, and 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 you know that actually ups your 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 uh, email open rate as well when you do stuff like this. So we want to give them that opp opportunity to opt out of stuff that they don't want because you don't want to be sending them stuff that they that you know they they don't want to read. So. That's number uh, six. Number seven is you uh, uh, conversational marketing and quality interactions. Very, 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 very important. I've talked about this also at nauseum, but it's a huge trend now. You want to have conversational marketing, not in your face stuff. You want to uh, try to engage your audience. A lot of times I was trying to even even on this podcast, I would say, hey, let's make this interactive. What do you think about this episode? How can you share this episode to someone else with with someone else that you think is going to impact? Um, hey, give me feedback. Do you like this? Have you implemented this? What I've talked about? This is why at the end of each quarter, I try to talk about, hey, what are the things that you're doing? How can we help you move forward for the next quarter? So you know that the next quarter is actually better than the last quarter, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing conversational marketing um, and, and, and requesting quality interactions. I do that in my social posts um, as well. Um, those of you who follow me on social media, mostly the people who follow me on social media is LinkedIn because that's the one I do the most. Um, but you don't want those bots. You don't want those chat, you know, those those bots that pop up and, and do this because you know, those aren't that's not really um, doing quality interactions. OK, so that's a huge distinction there. Uh, number eight, artificial intelligence and digital marketing is a huge trend, folks. See, the thing is that in recent years, um, the advancements with AI has actually led to more interactive reporting um, and, say, automating, you know, general marketing tasks like, say, mo um, monitoring uh, site traffic and boosting search engine optimization for organic reach. But rather than focus on, on what we already gained from AI, it's actually time now to look to the future and how it impacts digital marketing as a whole. So let's dig deep a little bit on this because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. This is something that I've implemented here in 2022. We started doing this when well, we started actually doing it in, towards the tail end of last year in 2021. Uh, but we went full bore ahead with it in 2022. So let's 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 pay attention to this because now I got some data. We about we're about 4 months in and I've got some actual data that I want to share with. You. Well, not data, but I want to share with you some of the results that I've gotten. So, as the AI technology is advancing, 
Uh, so do the capabilities moving forward, you know, like automated tasks and campaign, you know, automated campaigns and being able to I'm, I'm actually able now to predict what customers are, are likely to want next. So so AI has the ability to actually analyze more data uh, actually quicker than than any human can ever do. So it's the, this is the reason that it's able to take um, like the large data that's that's there to analyze and the purchase history and behavior of the car, of the customers. So then we're able to suggest a specific item or or offer even a personalized adverta- uh, advertisement piece, you know, and that's what we've been doing with AI. So. Using AI to predict your, you know, your customer's next move means you can target them with the product or service they need right when they need it. Okay, this kind of targeting will lead to like say very very high conversion rates in the sense that you kind of understand um, your 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 customers and 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 their needs without being intrusive. OK, because, you know, that they're looking for this. So we, we, we use a tech piece of technology that, you know, you know, it's a, it's a high end product that we that we've been uh, promoting for our customers that it actually does all of this for you. Uh, and, you know, and you know, it, so we it takes a little while to build because you have to build your audience. So it takes about three months to build. But while you're building, you're actually gaining traction as well. You're actually getting some customers as well. But when you're able to market to them the moment they're they're really they're ready to buy from you, that's a that's an enormous thing. That's a tremendous thing. And it's been working well for attorneys, it's been working well for dentists, it's been working well for chiropractors, it's been working well for HVAC companies, um, you know, a, a plethora of different industries. Um, and and you know, again, we we started playing around with it late last year. Uh, we we did a beta test. Uh, I think it was in October of 2021. Uh, we did a soft launch in December of 2021, and then we we did the final hard launch uh, January of this year. And it's really been doing well. So one of the things, one of the trends is is you know artificial intelligence and using it the right way in digital marketing. So if you're out there trying to get that done, um, that's something that uh, that you know, you if, if you you're, if if you want to play around with it and you have nowhere to start, give us a call. Okay, eight 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 four one six seven seven five two, or you can also send us an email, of course, at info at lbmsllc.com. You know, we've been messing around with this for now, like I said, four months. Well, actually, more than four months. If you increase, if you talk about the soft launches that we had, but anyway, here we go. So the last thing that's a huge trend in digital marketing here in twenty twenty two. Is NFTs and crypto in um, in social media e-commerce, um, and it, I've noticed this trend going, and it's pretty interesting. Even if you don't invest in crypto, uh, it's it's been a huge rise on in in of of, of online currencies, um, and then NFTs have been near impossible to to miss over the past few years, actually. So, on the surface. Though it might not sound like a trend that affects your marketing strategy, but that's not the kind of passive thinking that we're here for in 2022. Actually, okay, that's not the passive thinking. This is why I'm mentioning. To you. I want to uh, create awareness of it for you. So, with like the social platforms, like say Twitter, um, you know, taking steps to integrate cryptocurrency payments okay and right and 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 a rising trend for like say display tools that that showcase in 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 app mft purchases now is actually the time to consider how your brand can jump on the bandwagon and this is why i'm bringing it to you now i'm bringing it to you early I want you to jump on the on the on all these things that I'm talking about. I want you to jump on the bandwagon now. I don't want you to say, "Hey, Frank, you never told me." I'm listening to the show. You're not educating me. BS. I'm educating you now. Okay. So, because the thing is that Facebook is already promoting the use of of NFT display options and avatars 
um, and avatars. So we expect to see more and more companies take uh, a step in that direction. So the focus is the focus with NFTs and cryptocurrency is to to think about how to sell the brand beyond products and services, okay, and potentially the brand itself and the ethos it carries. Okay, so here's here's a crazy question for you guys. You know, based on these nine trends that I talked to you about, here's a question and here's the interaction piece that I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Do you think you're ready for digital marketing um, going, you know, beyond 2022? You know, here we are in March. Okay, I just gave you a trend that happened. And it's in the first, you know, it's 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 been happening since last year, and I'm I'm you know I'm still following it, and it's it's growing as a rising trend. So this is the time to jump in. So ask yourself, are you ready for digital marketing here in 2022 and beyond? Uh, I'd like to, I'd love to hear from you guys. Send me an email info at lbmsllc.com, um, and um. Yeah, you let me know. Are you ready? If you're not ready, I invite you to reach out to us. Reach out to us. Uh, you know, we'll, again, we'll, we'll offer you a free consultation of how we can help you with any of these things that we talked about or any other digital marketing type of topic that you're curious about and want to jump into. So with that, folks, I am going to put an end to this episode. I hope you got a lot out of this episode. If you did get a lot out of this episode, please share it with someone that you think can also benefit from it. It will be really, really, really good. You'll be doing me a great favor. Uh, Anyway, until next week, folks, this has been Frank Deming, the local business guy. Take care, folks, and bye for now. Peace out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, any links that were mentioned during the broadcast will be available to you in the show notes, so be sure to grab them while you have the chance. Incidentally, if you have any topics that you would like for us to discuss on the show, be sure to send an email to the email provided in the show notes or click the contact us link and let us know what topic you would like us to help you with. And we'll be sure to add it to our schedule. If you would like for Frank and his team to look at your digital marketing presence and give you a free evaluation, simply click the request a free consultation link in the show notes to get a hold of them. That being said, until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.